Hello everyone, Angie here, coming on to do another process video on my Oh So Blue um, journal. Um, I am doing a series taking suggestions from my subbies and trying to incorporate their favorite pages or their ideas into this journal. Um, so we're doing pretty good. Um, and the project that we are doing today comes from A. Gonzalez. Thank you. A. Gonzalez for um, participating and leaving a suggestion for today's tutorial. And she requested a um, either a gatefold page or a car, um, I have a hard time pronouncing that word, Constantina, Constantina fold page, which is basically just the overlap zigzag folded um, designed page. So we're going to try to incorporate that into today's um, project. And I chose some papers. I just had some vintage um, designer series papers. And then, because when I do the fold, of course, one side will be um, have the design, but then the uh, underside folds will not. So um, I thought we could either line those with um, blank paper for journaling and or add some blue, since it's a blue journal, add some of these strips. Um, for like a designed layer. That was my thought process in my head. So we'll see how well that works. Um, and what I like to do, I've done this page a few times before. I'm gonna bring in my, uh, my scoreboard. And what I like to do is rather than just do a basic, um, I don't know, how would you say, a zigzag kind of a accordion fold. I like to stagger my folds. Um, so I thought we would try that. It's been a while since I've done one. I've done one like that, but I thought we would try and do that today. Now I'm trying to think if because um, my pages are eight and a half. So I kind of got to decide what page this is going to go on first. Um, and I like to kind of alternate my pages. So that one's designed, that one. Um, let me look real quick here so we can try and get this done in the amount of time that's allotted to me. Uh, or we may have to carry it over to the next video. thinking this page and to do that this page is a little bit smaller so it's, it's a little seven and six eighths okay and four and three fourths hmm Let me think about this for just a second here. How I want to do this layout. Because I am thinking. All right, let's try. Let's try two inches. We're going to do a score mark at two inches. Okay. Then we're going to do a score mark at two and a half. So that would be four and a half. Would be the next one. And each each fold is going to be staggered, so I'm going to make it have a half an inch um, kind of lip, so to speak, on that. So two inches, then we're going to go to four and a half inches, and then we're going to go to seven inches, which is another two and a half, right? Seven. And then two and a half. So that'll be nine and a half. And so that'll give us one, two, three, four folds. And then this one's going to be a little bit smaller. Well, it's two and a half. I may have to cut that down to use it as a flap to adhere down. But we'll see. My thought. So then the page was, what I say? I lost that quickly. Let me remeasure that. Seven and three fourths, just about. And since I have a little tear right there, I'm going to cut it off on this side. So we'll say seven and three fourths. Okay, maybe I 
can use that for something else. Okay, I'll probably have to bring my scoreboard back in, but for the moment, we will leave that. Okay, now what my thought process was for a Constantina fold. Let me get my, I can't see my score line. There we go. So then we're gonna back fold this one. And of this one's two and a half inches, a little bit longer. And then this one is three inches. It should be if I did it correctly. No, I did it at two and a half. So let me bring my score bag back because I like to stagger them because I like you to be able to see that there's something, something underneath the next fold. So we want to do this one here. Okay, so that one should have been at three because that one is three inches. So then the next one will be three and a half. Okay, so one, two, three and a half. There we go. And then that'll give me about an inch on the end. And we are using a 12 by 12 inch paper. So we can get, you know, and we can do the fold, fold smaller, but I figured that's a good amount of size. So when we open that up, there's journaling spot, journaling spot, journaling spot, and so on. You want to have a little bit of room either for journaling spot or, or even decorating um, is my thought. So that's why I'm choosing these increments. Okay. Let's see how that's going to look. So we're going to have something. I still did that wrong, didn't I? I still did that wrong, guys. Okay, so two, two and a half, three. Okay, so I want them all to match on this side. So, okay, so one fold I need to adjust. Okay, I'm getting it, guys. Okay, so there we go. It's gonna go down on the page like so. We will adhere it onto the page here. On this flap here, we will adhere it, okay? And it will lay on the page like that. Then when you open it up, you've got that prettiness on that side and we may do some decorating on that. We'll see how that goes, okay? And then when you open it up this way, we need to decorate this side, okay? So there's our Constantina fold, okay? And see how we have the white showing? So that's why we need to decorate the other side. And we could put some pockets in there. We could put some tuck spots. We can just collage. We can decorate. We can do whatever we want. So let's see about that now, okay? Now, let me make sure I cut the right size because my folds were off, and that will fit, okay? Now, the only thing I am thinking about is when that is in the page, that is going to stay flapping up, okay? Now, there's a couple things that we can do for that. Um, I just got to think about it for a minute here. We can do a little closure here to kind of hold that down. I can do a wrap around, wrap over closure that'll come all the way across, kind of like a belt. And I have a little tie over here on this side. And then you have to untie it to open it up like this, which is kind of what I'm thinking. So I think this is gonna have to be a two-part video on this process, because it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to kind of really think this out, how I wanna do this. And then, we have to decorate this side as well and decide if I want them just to be journaling spots, alternate them with pockets, what have you. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I wanna think about how it's gonna lay down on the page first, I think. So I'm gonna meet the first fold on the left with the edge of the page, okay, like that. So I will glue that down, but then that kind of doesn't quite blend in, so that's where I thought I could bring in some of this blue just to give some, some pizzazz. 
and some shine to it. So what do we say about this dark blue? I like that. So I'm going to cut that off and we're going to look at that because I got to, I got to get a visual. I'm very visual. So I got to see how I, that's going to look before I decide. So let's cut this one down. And I even like that gold. I'm going to leave that gold strip. On there. Okay, and we'll probably use some more of this. But we're going to start with this for the moment. And if we cover that up, bring that right to the edge. And we'll be looking at something like that. Now see that? I like. It kind of separates this pattern from that pattern, if you see what I'm saying. Okay, and we can actually even, since this is a very strong heavyweight paper, we can put that down and that can actually become a side tuck there. I like that idea as well. Okay, so this sticks out just a tad, about an eighth of an inch. So we're gonna trim that little bit off. And I don't need to use my trimmer on that. We can just do a rough cut all the way down. I think that'll be good enough. Okay. And then let me move my book out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and put that down first. So I think that'll make me kind of get a better picture as to where I'm going with the design okay so I think that's a nice flow I like that okay so there's my clue book okay let's get that covered actually I can fold it on the opposite direction and go right up to the edge okay and turn it back on itself and do I want the gold on the inside or on the outside and I think I want it on the outside so then come back here and we'll line it up. I can trim a tad off there. I'd rather have to trim it than it be too short. Okay, so we're gonna give that a really good press. Get that glue in there really well. Okay. Then we can trim. So you guys can follow along this is going to go down just like that and I think I will just put it down like this and that can be a tuck spot when it's closed and we can tuck in something there okay and that's going to go like that so then we need to start with how we're going to decorate the inside okay so this is not relevant because that's going to get glued down so we can fold that back for the moment now i have this paper left over now we can use that and do some pockets and we can do some tuck pockets in there or i'm gonna get the direction of the design going up front right ways here first okay we can do that or i was thinking we can bring in some of these striped stripes here of this blue. Let me cover my glue up. And let me let's cut a couple of these down and see if we want to use any of this.
can use those. And let's see what else we've got here. enough let's see if we can use any of those pieces in here so I wanted to incorporate some blue I don't want it all to be um, one color now let me see this is gonna go like that Maybe I want to start with the gold on the outside. No, I don't think so. Let's see how it looks this way. Now that's not bad. And actually that little, that's kind of a pinkish mauve color. And that does kind of go in somewhat with the tone in there. I can live with that. But then when we open it up, we've got that. Okay, so. Maybe this one. Let me see how that looks. No. Okay. Stick to your original idea, Angie. Let's see how this one looks. And this one says memories are homemade. I do kind of like that scalloped edge. But I'm going to say a no to that also. So I think I'm going to do this, okay, then when we open it up, I'm thinking maybe a narrow pocket, so we could I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so we're gonna start there. Bring my gold book back in. And I'll use a pattern paper on this and then a different layout um, or a different uh, design paper on the other portions. I think that would look nice. And with this being um, opening and closing and folding and unfolding type thing, um, I think having it uh, double thickness is a benefit as well. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of see where my fold line is. And I'm going to line that up as best I can. Lay that down. Give it a good press. And trim. Now I will have to reinforce that first fold. But I want to give it a minute until that glue stick has time to dry because I could still feel it feels cold and damp and it's not dry yet. So we'll give that a bit. And while that's 
we can um just gonna go like this. Why did I just have it like this, didn't I? I forgot how I had my fold just that fast, guys. Okay. Like that. Okay. Okay, so that covers that. So that looks okay. So I don't even have to do that. That that blends. I like that. We can use incorporate the blue on the next section. That's not a problem. And I can always come back in if I want to. I like that. Okay. So then this next section, I have another piece. I thought we could... Even though they're different, they're similar. They come from the same paper pad, so they, they're meant to go together and have a nice cohesive blend to them. So we can use it. I like that. And I don't even mind that I turn this paper sideways. I totally don't mind that at all. Okay, so I like that. So let's start there. I'm just gonna leave this right there and try to glue half down. Come and turn it around and we'll glue down the other half. Okay. Gonna give it a good press. Okay, come back and do the other side. that in and then work it down and that I just rub that off and that turns clear when it gets dry make sure the edges are good and sealed okay and then we just have this little bit and that's the piece that's going to get attached down to the page itself well, let's trim this. Okay. Put the plate on that for the moment. Okay, so now our page is at least completely covered now. And where are my folds? There we go. Is that it? Yep. That was the first one that I made a mistake on, wasn't it? Okay, there we go. So see, then we've got the staggered look. And then when you open it up, you've got that. And then when you flip it back this way, you've got that. So we do need to cover that piece. So we'll bring this one back in. And I think I was going to do... That's not how I had it, is it? I had them all meeting on this end, didn't I? goes down like that. No, that's right, I guess. I did want them staggered. That one's just a little bit of a bigger, which is fine. I don't mind that. Okay. So I need to think Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that. So let's do that. My original thought. Good press. Get that little bit of glue off. Okay, so now we've got the construction of our Constantina fold in place. Okay, so let's bring our book back in. Let's take a look. I want it to go on here. And I think I said I was going to line this up right there. Okay. So then when we hold it, open it up this way, we've got that. And then when we close it, it will sit like that. We've got to figure out a close or it's going to stay this way. And then when we open it up this way, we've got that. So very pretty, very pretty. So if I, I have some little clasps that I can put there that'll hold it closed there, but it will close, show on this side. So we will have to do something to cover that up. Or Do type of a kind of like a how do we say let's see like something like this which that's pretty on there isn't it that might actually work let's see how that's gonna look what if I fold this hmm, I like that right there on that one right there in that line I just want to take a look at see how I like this and um, if not I'll come up with another idea I'll pull out my hardware okay so we can do something like that secure that down secure that down and do a flap over like that and that will hold that closed there and I like that Mm, I like that, guys. What do you think? I like that a lot. So I am going to cut it right here. And I may change my mind by the time I, by the time we do the next video. I don't know. I'm going to let this sit on my brain here for a bit. But the intention is, is to secure this down on this side. And we can have a little tuck. That can be a little tuck spot there. Secure that down. Okay, we're going to stop there. i got to think about how I want to do this and then do some pockets or some tuck spots on the folds or bring in some um, blank paper for some journal spots. Okay, so we're going to stop there. I'm going to put this in here so I know what my thought process was so I can think about this. And we'll hold on to those pieces. Maybe they'll come in handy as well. Okay, guys, we're going to stop there and um, see what, what I want to do from there. Okay, thank you so much for watching today. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, A. Gonzalez, for your suggestion. And um, I hope I'm doing it justice for you. And I hope you like the finished page when we get it done to, on tomorrow's video process video. Okay, but until then, thank you so much for watching. You take care and God bless. Good night.